Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Right now we're doing Florida and Kentucky vlogs at the same time, and today, all about bourbon. Here we are, we're at Willett House, or the Willett Distillery, and we're gonna check out some, uh, some good old whiskey. Beautiful place. That's where they store the barrels for three to seven years, depending on the aging process. But we're not doing the tour of this place. Didn't work out with uh, the timing, so we're gonna go to the next one. I think we're going to Maker's Mark next. But we're going hitting up like five, five? About five today? Five. Yeah, we're headed to Maker's Mark right now. He won't, he won't give me his sunglasses. I bust my sunglasses, and he won't I need them. Thank you. All right, we're on to this one. I think we're just hanging out here because they got like a bar area, but look at how beautiful this is. We're at Maker's Mark Distillery now. We stopped at a grocery store for more libations, and I was able to get me some unfrosted Pop-Tarts. Look at how gorgeous it is. So we're not doing the tour. I don't know what things we're doing tour-wise or not, but we're not doing this tour. But look at this, like how beautiful this whole place is. There's just a creek, beautiful buildings. You got mountains in the background. That house up there is where we went into. It's like the original owner's house. I don't know, it was like a museum in there and there was an art installation going on so I couldn't vlog. Dom looked up a Yelp review and he's all jazzed because they're calling this the Disneyland of bourbon like distilleries. So that's why it looks extra fancy here. There's the gift shop and restaurant where you can do tastings and I think this is where we're heading now. They have an awesome gift shop but here they can, this is where you can actually do the dip in. Look at that, look at how cool that is. That's pretty cool. The skill, look at that. And that's how they got the famous uh, wax dippings on those Maker's Mark. I think you should do one. Oh, you can get your hat dipped. You can get everything dipped. This is the glass art that I told you about the installation that was in the house that they were putting in. And it's all around the garden ground. They got more art pieces up top and just classic everything Maker's Mark. It's a cultural piece here. Oh, I like that too. All the artists' names are below them. So here's like a cool display of the four different reserves they have, or they're sold out of that one. They're four current releases. But this is the, the fancy fancy wax that we just watched that, that being dipped. It's like their signature piece for their their bourbon. He's gonna <laughs> like all the bottle on accident. He's gonna drop the bottle. Uh, we're leaving, we're heading out, but this is probably gonna be the most beautiful looking one. Nobody seems to know why they're painted black. We thought I'd do something with the sun, but we can't get an answer from it. Because this isn't the only one. The first one we went to, 1792 Barton, um, was also black as well. I think it has to do with the sun, but we just don't know. It's my goal is to figure it out by the end of today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah. Pull yeah. over. Keep your finger over there, pull it out. It's gonna drip just a little bit. It's all right. Show them how beautiful the color of that stuff is. See you down. No longer than it's Come been on in the down. barrel. Wow. Wow. That's the other one. This was Yellowstone Distillery. We don't have that much time to hang out, but it's they got a cool history over here. Look at this. Look at that fancy weight system. So much history behind these places. And put a comment down below. The, we've seen these all over, and I haven't got one yet, but I want to know what it is. This is the third distillery that has this. I like these vibes. All right, it was about an hour, a little over an hour drive, but we made it to the Woodford Preserve? Woodford Distillery, I think? I am so tired. I did not get good sleep last night on the air mattress, and just not a lot of time. Got up so early the day before. I just need, it's like 2.30 and it feels like eight. But good day, but I think we're, I think this is our second to last distillery. I'm really kicking myself in the tail for not vlogging the first tour. Cause it's been the only tour we've done. We've like gone to places and done like tastings or just like walk through sections. But like the first one we actually saw like the, the place where all the barrels are. We got explained on how they do it, where they do everything. Saw the charring, the burning of the inside of the barrel. It's really cool. I do love these cool, these things just like, these displays just like look very nice when you look at all of them and how they display it, just really good and historical like. Look at these cool photos, you gotta see this photo over here. Look at them, them burning the inside of the barrels to give the color and flavor. Look at them being rolled down to it for storage. 
Pretty cool. Pretty fancy. We aren't doing a tour here, but there's the buildings down there. Super old stone, which is barrels sitting in there for three to seven years. Of, you can see the, the pipes over there, are the main manufacturing building over there where they're gonna do their gr work with their grains and whatnot. So we're only gonna stay like 15, 20 minutes. So we are in a rented limo bus, but it's through a tour. So our driver knows where everything is and knows how far everything is. So he's like, listen, you only have like 20 minutes here before we have to go to the, to make it to the, the next place, which we, we should be doing a tour. Should be. But either way, it's still nice. I feel like very Southern with like the little outdoor area, seating and patio and there's Dom on a business call. P.S. If you do video, if you need a wedding, if you need a wedding videographer, Dom and Vic Productions, that's what that phone call's about. Okay. Check this place out. We are at our last distillery. It is Buffalo Trace Distillery. Where the barrels are in the building, low floor, mid or high, affects how the bourbon is like ages over time. The, the ones on the bottom actually take longer to get the flavor and color because it's cooler. The temperature change isn't as drastic, whereas the middle and high, it is a bit drastic. But this is a cooler facility because you can kind of see it all laid out where you got storage, bottling, over there, all of all the good stuff. Look at this cool event space. So we got a private thing over there. You got wedding space over there. That statue, I don't know who it is, but it looks like somebody from the Haunted Mansion. Beautiful little creek. This would be a great spot to have their wedding. And there's a buffalo statue over there too. And then you got more factory stuff back here. Even Matt are having a standoff. <laughs> She's just like, I want pets. So I have no idea how much Peter has vlogged today. I haven't heard from him. He's in the middle of nowhere, no service, touring all the bourbon places. And I am actually gonna be Matt's date tonight for an award ceremony at the theater he works at. But I'm gonna make a little dinner beforehand. There's gonna be hors d'oeuvres and drinks there, but we all know that it probably will be cheesy and delicious. Um, so I'm gonna make some little tacos for the road. Matt and I agreed that this looks like dog food, so there's that. And there it is, I added some guacamole and some of that queso style dip and tomatoes and some seasonings. Eve is desperate to, to share with me. And I forgot to mention, in that bean concoction was refried beans, black beans, a can of the green chilies, some Valentina, and then pepper. That might have been the only spice I put in there. Garlic. So that's what it is. It was super simple. Um, yummy, but just enough to tide me over. I think we might stop somewhere on the way there for Matt to get food. Um, so who knows, I might not. I might get a little something else, maybe just a big Coke or something. But yeah, that's our wild and crazy Friday night we got going on. Eve, is that your baby? Hey, you missed your baby! <laughs> Uh-oh, the Amazon truck is here. That means the cart lady's near. Go get her, go get her. She's a really good cart dog. Trait, however small, makes my very flesh begin to crawl. It's pretty poppin'. It's a pure so strong. Okay, and we go for cocktail hour. Matt isn't up for any awards because it's just for the actors and actresses, but we're still convinced he's gonna win it all. I deserve it. <laughs> we're here. We're here. Uh oh, someone having a screen? It's The people love it. Peter's a lame school, didn't want to be in the vlog, so I'm taking it. No, I just said, why don't you update it? I'm super it's full. Been hours. All right, guys, we got, we got a dodge. We got an Uber coming, and we're going we to the ground. I thought we were going to stay and watch scary movies. We can later. Me and you can cut yeah, on the couch. On the couch, couch watch scary movies. Okay, I got a minivan. Let's Peter go. All right, here is where we've been at Alexander Cocktails concoctions and libations. Look at this cool like courtyard. It is very fancy, very hip. We were up there. I think we're getting ready to leave, but that's called Copper and Kings. And there's this cool whole area. Okay, every show that Matt was a part of won an award, right? Yeah. <laughs> it helps when you have worked on all the shows, but it was a really fun night. They did a really good job putting it together. But now, 
We're back at Yamin's. We're meeting up with my friends. I got me a mocktail mule. Me and Chelsea. Who's here? Chelsea. <laughs> And Matt and Ben and Cole over here. Um, Chelsea has. Wait, this is my song. I love Andrew McMahon. But Chelsea was visiting us. <laughs> we went on a bike ride. We did so many things. Oh, I remember this picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like winking. <laughs> like, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, I think the captain is like, you can only wink with your left eye, right? Yeah. No, I can only wink with my right, but not my left. <laughs> and that's what we are doing. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> These are some gems. I'm getting into Kent time. Alrighty, I'm home. The message of the day. The what ifs and the should haves will eat your brain. John O'Callaghan. Look at this happy girl. Hey. Boop. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Alrighty, so I had a really nice night out with all the pails um we spent a lot of time going through old facebook albums and photos in general and um it's incredible it's coming up on eight years since we met everybody um we checked into our college program august 22nd 2011 um so that's i mean it, it dates us we did recently do our disney college program so we don't always have all the knowledge on it because we, we did it so long ago it's always so fun to reminisce um, what's really cool about today's vlog is Peter is with Dom and Shane. I don't know who's featured or what, um, but with Chelsea and Matt being in my footage, it's the first time that the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven have all been in the same video in a very long time. Um, Shane also lived in Five Two Hundred Seven. Shane and Dom were roommates. Matt had a different roommate, and Peter had a different roommate, but they ended up becoming each other's roommates at the end. Um, so they actually had six boys in their apartment and I had six girls, but Chelsea and I spent a lot of time in the boys' apartment. So that's where Fab 5207 came from. 5207 was our apartment number, and it was like a play on the Fab Five, like Mickey, Minnie, um, Goofy, Pluto, Donald, but it was the Fab Five of us. So that's a little insight on that. I've talked to Peter more tonight. They seem to be having fun, but... I'll sign off. It's actually 1 a.m. Much later than I thought I'd be home, but it was a really good time. It's good to be home. I miss Peter so much, and it's so weird to do all of our, like, nightly routine everything without him. We are very much so a pair. It's, what time is it, 2 in the morning? I it was later than that. 2.02. 2.02 02 in the morning. We left because we're smart. Everyone else is still out. My hands feel so dirty right now. Yeah. It's so disgusting. Yeah. It was a good day. It was, it was a long a, day. It was a good day. Long day. Remember Frank from this morning? Frank. Yeah. This is Frank. He was our tour guide from the tour I didn't vlog. This, this doesn't make sense to you, but... That was Frank. Frank. This is Frank. Say it. Um, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, comment down below if you want to see us do anything other than what we're doing. I know we go to Disney a lot, but we also do want to see the, you know, Metro Orlando area. So just make sure to let us know in the comments. Um, thank you for following us along on our vegan journey. And, um, until next time, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. You're ridiculous. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>